LinkedIn says remote jobs made up 13% of postings last month. That's down from 20 plus percent. CEOs like City's Jane Frazier talking about bringing back underperformers to the office. So will that return to office bring a return to more formal office clothing? I hope not. Nate Chekets also <laughs> hopes not. He's the co-founder and CEO of Roan, who they say is the most comfortable men's apparel guaranteed. Nate, good to see you. Good uh, to see you. So we changed in the COVID times to these comfortable clothing. Is that a permanent shift in men's attire? There's no question. I mean, once you get more comfortable, going back is just not an option. But I think what is the next evolution of that is bringing comfort to traditional silhouettes. You've got our commuter shirt on, commuter pants. I mean, nobody would know that you're wearing the most comfortable. You could sleep in that. I mean, it's that comfortable. And I, could. Uh, and, um, <laughs> I, I actually ran the London Marathon in that dress shirt. So you could do just about anything in these clothes. And um, we think that's the next evolution of, of menswear is supreme comfort in traditional silhouettes so that you can go to work and still look good. And Nate, your numbers are so impressive. Taking a look at these retail sales growing over 200% last year, projected to grow another 242% this year. Are you able to keep up with that demand? And what do those expansion plans look like? I mean, one of the great things for us is that retail is a growing channel. And we believe that um, these channels kind of support each other. There's so much opportunity. We only have nine stores coming out of this year. So growing 200% is, is absolutely achievable for us. We plan to grow triple digits in retail for the next several years. Are you not seeing a pullback in consumers that have just been stung by inflation? I think one of the great things about our product is we invest in what we call value, right? So it's not cheap, it's not inexpensive, but our dress shirts, for example, $128, but you never need to get them dry cleaned. So they pay for themselves. If you're used to paying for dry cleaning, this shirt, you can throw it in the wash, hang dry it. It'll last for a very long time. And so we believe it's all about kind of, you know, like everything else in finance, a good return on your investment. Everybody talks about Lululemon. There's some other competitors like Viore. How do you distinguish yourself from those others in the space that is more crowded than it was a few years ago? The main thing for us is we focus uh, intently on the male customer. So everything we do from fit to quality of fabric to our technology, we use a technology called Gold Fusion, which is uh, after 100 washes, still 98% effective against odor. Nobody else in the market uses this technology, and that's because we're obsessed with serving our customer. So I think it's about doing things a little bit differently. A lot of people want to talk about uh, the competitors. In our office, we talk about the customer. Well, Nate, you're making me a bit jealous because I know you just do the men's line. I wish you did women's. The fact that it's so versatile, the fact that it's so comfortable, you could just throw it in the wash. I know you don't do it now, but any plans are you thinking about getting into the women's business? You know, I think that um, there's so many players in the women's market. If we were to do it, we have to have a point of view, and we've got to do it better than everybody else. And so that's, that's the challenge for us. And, you know, it's not now, but I won't say never. So we'll, we'll have to see. You learned a lot through the COVID pandemic, as most businesses did. You yeah. opened your first store at Hudson Yards in New York City right before the pandemic, yep. which is the worst possible timing. So what bad. did you learn as a business leader throughout that period? I, I, there were so many lessons, I think mostly around people management. At, at a certain point, you were just trying to give your team, your customers hope. In the beginning of the pandemic, I remember everybody was sending out these emails like, uh, don't worry, we're taking care of our team, we're closing our stores. And we decided to send an email saying, this is not another COVID-19 email. If you want to read about how we're treating our employees and in our, in our stores, you can go here. But this is about you, the customer. And we sent 30 days worth of home workouts, 30 days of recipes of stuff you could make with stuff in your cupboard um, and, uh, and stuff to watch on TV. And the, the response that we got from our customers about, again, focusing on them, that was the key for us. And so we really reoriented ourselves as a company to be obsessed with this idea of over-serving the customer. And certainly evolving, evolving during that tough time. When you take into account everything that you have been through as a CEO, especially over the last couple of years, talking about that success, where do you see Roan 5, 10, 15 years from now? You know, I, I hope absolutely to still be doing what we're doing in a, you know, in a bigger way. It's about growing our megaphone. The most important thing for me as a brand, we focus a lot on mental health. So there are so many active brands that focus on physical health, lifting more, jumping higher, running faster. 
we think that health is not just about your physical health. It's about a full balance there. And so um, we, I'm really excited to grow our megaphone and to talk about men's mental health, which we think is a, is a big issue, and think about treating our mental health like mental fitness in the same way that we think about our physical fitness. Wholeheartedly agree with that message. Real quickly, belt bag or fanny pack, whatever they want to call it, your men's brand. Should we be wearing these things? You know, I'm not a, a sling bag. You could go with a number of different ways. I think that, I think it's a, I think it's a fad. But we've got one, and they're there. Oh, you, you do! Know, we've I didn't got one. That. You can you can you can buy it at our store on our website. We partner with a, a company called Bellroy that we like. I haven't committed to making one ourselves yet because I'm either. with you. It's like oh, guys, it's so convenient. I'm it. telling it's, you, once you try it, it you're not going to go back. It, it's like comfort. I, I'm telling you, you go to, if you're you know I'm a dad. I've got three boys. When we travel, I wear the sling bag. I'm not I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not putting. I'm not. I'm not fanny pack not yet. Fanny packing it. Not fanny pack. The shoulder. I got the sling bag. It makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> I fanny pack it all the time. I have two boys at home, yep. and I need everything on me at all times. Nate Chuck, it's great to have you, CEO of Rowan. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks.